Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to Mia Entertainment TV. I'm Nisha. And I'm Rollin. And we have something new that we want to share with you. Stay tuned. We're back guys and we would love to introduce to you what we have created, the Mia Live Box V2. It is absolutely amazing because when we're in the field, Marlon is always thinking, how can we make things simpler? Tell us about it, Marlon, what have you done? Um, so what we did is we added a Mac Mini to the mm -hmm. case. That's right, a Mac Mini is added to the case, all mm -hmm. the connections are made. Mm -hmm. You still have your ATEM in the front here, we can still get to it. And then you have a keypad here where you can easily access that to get everything set up so you can be ready to go. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate how the system actually works, guys. We're gonna turn it on right here with the power button. As you can see, the ATEM is coming on. We're gonna go ahead and power up our Mac Mini. And by the way, guys, there's a access panel right here that we will show uh, a closer shot on. Mm -hmm. So you can still turn on your unit while it's in the box. Yes. And that's the Mac Mini that is. Mm -hmm. So as it's starting up, as you can see, it starts up, put in your password. Okay, everyone, now that we got everything started up, you can see the display of your Mac Mini here. And if you just push this button on the side, we conveniently added a switch that we have named VO switch for video out. Mm -hmm. You just easily push that button. Mm -hmm. Just a push up a button. And then now you have your ATEM program and preview out. Just that simple. That is awesome guys, that's sweet. <laughs> so now let's talk about the connections on the unit. Starting at the front of the box, there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. At the rear of the unit, you have your mic one and mic two audio inputs. The unit comes with the 3.5 millimeter head jack, but this unit displays the upgraded version that has the XLR. At the rear middle of the unit, you have your input and output station. You have HDMI one, two, three, and here we're showing a SDI input. You can have up to two SDI inputs per our website. You also have your Mac video out, and your ATEM video out, just in case you wanna hook up an external monitor. On this side of the box, you have your power button along with your AC plug. And on this side of the case, you have your cooling fan and you also have your VO switch that we talked about earlier. On the top of the case, in the front you have your ATEM, right behind it you have your keypad, and on the side of it you have your Mac Mini. They all have special cutouts so they fit firmly and it's easy to transport without anything shifting. And at the top of the case, you have your 1080p 60 hertz monitor that is 15.6 inches. Keep in mind that the ATEM, the Mac Mini, and the keypad, and also a mouse or trackpad is not included. But the 15.6 inch monitor is, along with all of the other accessories that we mentioned. In case you are wondering, just in case you want to remove the Mac Mini, we provide a convenient suction cup that will allow you to screw it on, suction it up, push it forward, tilt it up, and out. Then you simply remove your connections and your Mac Mini is out of the case. When connecting to Wi-Fi, you can use your cell phone, you can use your Wi-Fi, you can use your client's Wi-Fi, or you can use your suction cups, lift the Mac Mini out, connect an ethernet cable, and run it right through this little access opening for the power button of the Mac, straight to your modem or your router. There you have it, all grounds covered. <laughs> okay, I know some of you are also wondering, how will we be able to see the ATEM screen and the Mac Mini screen at the same time? Well, the connections on the back, like we talked about earlier, will allow you to connect a external monitor like we have here, I'm gonna cut this one on. And because we are hooked into the Mac Mini's video out, when it comes up, you will see 
put it where you can see it on the screen. As you can see, that's the Mac Mini output there. Mm -hmm. Now, if I switch this cable on the back, Okay, now that it's plugged into the ATEM, you can see you can have a second monitor for your ATEM as well. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, so all grounds are covered. Mm -hmm. Also, if you switch your video switch here, you can have your Mac Mini display here, and you have your ATEM display here. Mix and match. Do, do it however you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. So once you're done live streaming, you'll simply shut down the unit and get ready to pack it up to go home. Marlon, can you switch it over to the screen so that way we can shut down the unit for me, please? Okay, of course, you know you have to shut down your Mac Mini as usual. You don't mm -hmm. want to just hit the off button because then you'll be shutting down your Mac without shutting it, actually shutting it down. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna switch over to the Mac Mini screen. Mm -hmm. I'll push up a button. And here you have your Mac Mini screen and Nisha. And we'll going... navigate to the shutdown menu, like so. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna wait until we see the no signal message and that way we'll know that it's safe to go ahead and power down the actual unit with the power button. Okay. Now that the unit is powered off completely, everything is good, you don't wanna just shut it down and take it nowhere because <laughs> you might, something might come, you know, a little, but we took care of that, all right? We have a form here mm -hmm. that if you place it here, it's conformed to the box, mm -hmm. same size of it. And if you shut the unit down now, it will give compression to all of your different things inside. And when you shut it down, it's nice and tight. Did you see that? I had to, it's tight now. Yeah, real so smart. now you can pick it up. You can go wherever you want with it. You can mm -hmm. put it in your car. You're good to go. Mm -hmm. And everything is already set up for your next video shoot. Yes. So guys, if you're looking for an all-in-one system that allows you to operate the ATEM along with the computer system, then the Mia Live Box V2 is your solution. Yes. For more details and pricing details, visit us on the web at www.mealivebox.com. And don't forget, we have other cases there too, guys. We yes. still have our other boxes. You have the Extreme case, you have the Extreme Pro case, yes. you have the Go box, you have the mm -hmm. Pro box, you have the regular Live box. So just take a look around the website when you get there and see if there's anything that fits your needs. Yeah, so guys, visit us there. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. And again, stay tuned and be blessed.